We asked a few of our fellow professional photographer friends what they think separates amateurs from professionals and compiled a list of 10 things you can do to instantly take your photos to the next level. We do want to preface this by stating that these are just opinions and photography is an art, so there are of course exceptions to the rules. However, we do believe if you heed our advice... Well, nobody would heed of what heeded Heated head, of, headed, when no one headed, take headed of. no one would take headed of my instructions. You will instantly up your photography game. Tip one, mind your horizons. Crooked horizons give me minor heart palpitations, so for the sake of my sanity, just keep them level. If you miss it in camera, it takes like two seconds to do in post, so do it. Furthermore, don't let horizons intersect your subject's head. It's just bad juju. Tip two, nail your focus. Focus and composition are the two primary ways we communicate through our photos, so consider what you're trying to say when you focus on a subject. For example, if you're not trying to emphasize the button on someone's jacket, don't focus on that over his or her face. It can be hard to nail your focus, but taking the time to ensure your focus is exactly where you want it to be can separate your photos from basic and boss. Tip three, don't cut off your subject's limbs at the joints. Doing that makes it seem like their limbs don't extend past the border of your photo and that just shows that you haven't studied up on your composition. Tip four, that brings us to good composition. Rule of thirds is a great place to start, but composition can be way more interesting than that. For example, you can keep your photo completely centered and symmetrical, a la Wes Anderson, or use quadrants for interest and tension like the show Mr. Robot does frequently. Just make sure you're intentional with the way you compose your shots. Tip five, don't under or over edit your photos. Now this one is just our own personal preference, so please refrain from roasting us in the comment section. It's our opinion that photos lacking post-processing, or on the contrary, have too high contrast, heavily desaturated, insanely split-toned, overly photoshopped, they just don't feel like the work of a professional. Tip six, don't shoot in tungsten lighting if you can help it. I can't tell you how many times I've seen a photo taken during perfectly good daylight hours and wasted on tungsten lighting. As a rule of thumb, turn off your lights and head to a window or even outdoors. Natural light will instantly up your photo game. Tip seven. Use light correctly. Even if you're not a natural light photographer, know the ins and outs of your artificial light. A quick Google search for wedding photography will yield thousands, literally thousands of photos that are lit terribly. They don't look professional and merit mentioning, so don't be one of those guys. Tip eight, shoot with purpose. When most people start shooting, they'll shoot for the sake of shooting and not communicating. Before you shoot a photo, stop and consider what you're trying to communicate in that frame and the best way to do it. It'll give your photo purpose. purpose. Tip nine, now this is another dicey one. Keep your subjects natural. There are, of course, a million exceptions to this rule. However, we've noticed a tendency for new photographers to attempt to create high fashion images when they first start. This can create gaudy and garish photos that don't really tell a story. So instead of relying on hair and makeup to communicate through your image, try keeping your subjects natural and using emotion to create tension, life, or feeling. Tip 10, don't try to recreate someone else's work. For sure, use it as inspiration, add your own twist, take it to the next level, remix it, but don't try to carbon copy it. New photographers maybe feel insecure or curious and sometimes have a tendency to just rip off other photographers' work and it usually shows. Draw your own inspiration, communicate your own story, it'll give you an edge. Hope that's out of focus.